Alright, so we, we are here at Miami Cordage picking up our new anchor chain and uh, the rope we need for our hurricane anchor and our new main sheet and a bunch of other fun goodies. But we're getting those before we head off into the Caribbean because it's a hell of a lot cheaper here than it is there. And we have a pickup truck from our friend Diesel. Now the fun part is trying to get this in our dinghy and back into our boat. Let's talk about our ground tackle. For us, having the right anchors is pretty much the same as having the right sails on a sailboat. So we're going to cover the gears that we have and why we chose it. So first off, our main anchor is a 55 pound rock nut. Um, that's quite large for our sailboat, but we sized it to be uh, appropriate for a storm up to like 60, 70 knots of wind. So maybe a tropical depression. Because we have such a large main anchor, we needed to also have very strong anchor chain. Um, so we chose a 5 16 high test chain. The working load on our main anchor is about 4,000 pounds, which should hold us through uh, a tropical storm. And that seems like a lot, but we wanted to have one solid anchor that we could comfortably drop and know it's gonna hold the first time. The reason why having an all chain road is important is because it's not necessarily for better holding. Um, you can get by with just maybe a boat length of chain and then all rope. The problem is chafe. And while we were in Wilmington, anchored in the river, um, we had maybe 50 feet of chain and then all rope after that. And somewhere along the line, our rope got wrapped around something in the bottom of the river and actually ended up uh, wearing significantly. So the thing with having old chain is that it's important to have some sort of snubber. It basically acts as a shock absorber for the boat and allows it to have some flex when the boat is moving. So we spliced ours together and uh, added some hose to prevent chafe and um, so far it's been holding up really well. We also have a 22 pound delta and a 35 pound CQR that we basically use as stern anchors or if we have to have extra anchors uh, and on the bow, especially if there's a crowded anchorage or a narrow channel. Somewhere you want to make sure that the boat doesn't swing too far around one single pivot point, so you add more anchors to prevent that. As, uh, as some of you guys may know, we don't have a windlass on our boat yet. Um, we actually have one, but we need a new motor for it. So before we can install that, we are going to find and replace the motor, and then uh, weighing anchor will be a little bit easier. And then we have this bad boy. This is the famous hurricane anchor for our little tiny Uma. Yes, this is a 105 pound anchor. Um, it's ginormous, but it's also going to save our lives one day. So the bigger, the better. We are setting sail for the Caribbean in the middle of hurricane season um, for many reasons, not the least of which is because we're just ready to leave the States. So it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when we're going to ride out a hurricane. Um, and a lot of that has to do with finding a good hurricane hole and preparing well in advance your boat. Um, but a lot of it also has to do with just having the right ground tackle. And so we did a lot of research and um, for us and from what we found, the best way to go is just having one very large anchor and a very strong anchor chain and a very strong anchor road and then making sure it's well set and your boat's well prepared um, and that way it won't drag and your anchors won't come loose. We have it attached with um, two 50 foot lengths of 3 8 chain 
and then 150 feet of three quarter inch nylon. We also decided to splice the rope uh, between the rope and the chain because as you guys know, the shackles that connect the chains is often the weakest link. So the less thing that can break, the better. It means each one of these roads has a working load of about 4,000, 4,500 pounds. These shackles right here rated a 4,000 pound working load. Everything else is a little bit stronger and that's fine by us. We decided to go with two roads rather than one just because we can actually use these roads again for our stern anchors or as a backup main anchor road. And it also means pulling the anchor up will be a little bit easier because we can run the road back to our main winches and um, three quarter inch nylon will actually fit in our main winches so we can use those to grind the, uh, the anchor up and help pull it out of the mud. So that's pretty much it. That's all of our anchor gear. Uh, we'll definitely do some more videos as we use them to show you how we use it, how we store it, and all that jazz. Well, one of the things I discovered while renovating the interior of the boat is that one of the main bulkheads wasn't tabbed to the hull. So after tabbing that and refiberglassing it, so now it's nice and strong, so now we get to retune our rig and hopefully our hull will flex a little bit less where that bulkhead was. Yep, you guessed it, more boat work. Before we could leave the States for good, we had a couple more projects on our to-do list. Another issue we've been having was the main sheet. Where it grabs onto the main sheet cam, it was completely torn off. So a few days ago, we decided to flip the ends and re-splice the eye. So this is how far I made it on our old main sheet, trying to splice it. And the, uh, the tail here just wouldn't go back into the sheath. So we ended up uh, buying a whole new main sheet because we kind of needed to anyway before heading off in the Caribbean. And uh, it's much, much easier to splice new double braid rope than old stiff double braid rope, that's for sure. Okay, here is the mast boot tape that we ordered to replace what's on our, uh, our mast right now. It's from Rigging Only. It's a rigging loft in Fairhaven, Massachusetts. Um, sorry we didn't include a link to this in our last video, but uh, it doesn't really have a link on their website. You have to call them up and ask for it. But if you call them up and ask for the black sticky stuff that goes around your mast boot, they'll know what you're talking about uh, and you can order it over the phone. It's really good though. Um, we used it before and then we had to take it off when we, when we took our mast to ship our boat down to Florida. Um, but it's, it's excellent stuff. So I'm about to install it now and replace the crappy white tape that we got from uh, West Marine. Probably don't even have to put these um, massive band clamps on, but it doesn't hurt to uh, have a little added security to make sure that this rubber doesn't ever slip up. But it's very, very securely stuck on there now, and I doubt it's going anywhere anytime soon. So I just trim these edge above the uh, 
metal band clamp and just look how well this stuff is stuck on here already. And just look how thick that is. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you find this information useful. And, <laughs> and by the way, don't forget to come back for the next step where we get ready to check out and finally leave the States for your next episode. As you can tell, Dan is not letting me record this. That's been going on for about an hour. And I think this is going to be the last take because I'm not going to try this again. Are you done yet?